Okay, now back to working on the little mini journal, scrapbooky type thing. This is going to be so cool. I can't wait to get started on the other one. I actually was able, let's see if I can pull it up here. I was actually able to go out to my studio yesterday and I found this pad of scrapbook paper. And it's not the cardstock weight, but because it's double-sided, it's heavier than just your text weight. I'm assuming I probably bought it at Walmart, but no telling how many years I had it. It was on a shelf, caught my eye, and I was like, oh my gosh. So the other book that I have all the, the parts prepped for, I'm going to use some of that paper on. And this one, if it turns out, and my new daughter-in-law to be likes it and wants it she might get this one or I'll make her another one okay we're going to work on the rest of the waterfall and get it done but I wanted to kind of show you what I had prepped for it I did the layering piece for the band and these are just laid up here they haven't all been glued in place yet because I wanted to show what I had done. This is going to be the little slide and I have a die that does this little shaped pineapple. So what I done on a piece of the scrap paper, I just laid the die over the shape and cut it out and then used some of this extreme glitter hologram finish it's it's like a varnish but it has enough glitter in it that you really see the glitter but then the varnish part dries clear and it actually added a little stability to the the little piece of patterned cardstock so it's going to go there and then I'm going to choose from one well actually two of these little flat back stones I just don't know which color I'm going to use yet and put on either side here just to add a little more pop of color. And I was working with a kind of a title for this section and I cut this out, but I still don't know if that's what I want to use yet. I cut one out of a green that was a little different paper than this. This is a, a bazeal, so it's textured, and this was smooth. And then I cut one that had a blue that kind of pulled from this page shade, since when these are open, you're going to see this area and this area. And I staggered them so that you got the shadow effect, and I just did the word summer and the word fun. So I'm still thinking about that, so I'm not going to be adding it right now. But I wanted to work on the rest of this and oh and then I went back and to cover my magnet on the back I used a circle punch and cut out one of the little kiwi shapes and then just adhered it over the back so that it secures the magnet and was just a little touch of color on the white back there so to finish off the waterfall all you're going to do, because you're going to have that approximate eighth of an inch, or sixteenth of an inch, because ah, they're cut an eighth of an inch smaller. When you split the difference, you get about a sixteenth of an inch border showing around this pretty green shade. So then it'll have the white edge to it. And I just like that look, so that's what I do for my waterfalls. I'm not going to put anything back here, so in case any journaling is to be put there, or whoever ends up with it can add more of their own stuff. So I'm just going to put this on just the front side pieces. When I make journals, I like to leave plenty of room for the recipient to add their own things to it and make it truly their own. Because just because I designed the book and I add a base to it, which gives you a jumping off point, I like to think that whoever ends up with it can then add enough of themselves that it makes it theirs and not 
so much mine that they just put some things on. So I know some people might not understand that, but that's just how I do most of my paper arts things. Right. Okay. So all of that is done. Then we will add some glue just to the little layering piece. And I decided to use a snippet of the piece with the pineapples because I wanted to incorporate the rest of the colors that were used throughout the book on the inside cover page since this is going to be the first area that you see. Also, with this little bit of fruit that's going to show with this page over the top of it, I wanted it to kind of have a flow. So, I chose the pineapples. Now, we're going to take, this is just the base piece for the slide. And because I know this width here has to fit and slide comfortably, I don't want to inhibit its movement. So I'm only putting the glue on the outer edge. And I'll have that little border that's going to show. And I decided to... Since I knew I was going to have something over the top of that, I decided to just kind of coordinate the pinks since this pink pocket was going to be on the front. And then I'm not going to attach my pineapple right now or the little stones because I want to work some more in the book. And those are the kind of things that I like to go back and do last. But the little slide will... slip on like that. Of course, the magnet will grab there. And then the little pineapple will kind of, you know, pop off the page. And you can have the slide anywhere you want it, or you don't have to have one at all. I just think they add another element of decoration. So, I had started making them and putting them there. Okay, now, let's work on a few more pages here. This is... Let me take all this inside part out so that'll lay flat for me. This is going to be the layering mat for the first page. And now when you work on white background, sometimes it does make it a little difficult to see your edges. So if you need something that's going to help you, just use any kind of scrap paper between your, your layers, you know, this flat layer and then it will make it stand off and you can actually see the what you're gluing to and the white doesn't run together on you because when you have the white layering over the color it just makes it a little easier to actually see it that can be kind of the trick that white can play on the eye Okay, and then press that into place. And this is just art glitter glue and a little needle tip bottle. So nothing fancy or special about it. I'm just a wet glue person. I use very little double stick tape and things like that because you wouldn't believe the projects out in my studio that were done years ago that are now coming apart. And all the things done with wet glue are still very secure. So I tend to stick to wet glue. So there's the pocket that we had already made. And it's glued into place. Then when this opens up, this panel will get glued here and this one here, and then this is the pocket that will go on top of that. So then it creates a flow of all the colors that we're using and incorporating into the little book. And if you want to go back and add more pockets, tuck spots, 
things like that, you can. I wanted this to where whoever ended up with it, if they really wanted to use it as a mini scrapbook, would then have plenty of area to put photos should they actually choose to use it for that. I just love that Kiwi page. Of course, I love Kiwi, so and green is my favorite color. So that all works for me. And with being, green being my favorite color, you will sometimes see that if I use a paper or paper collection that has a lot of greens in it, I will tend to use a lot of green accents. I worked for a lady one time and ran her scrapbook store and she used to tease me about that. I would do layouts and sample projects and things for the store and then demonstrate when people would come in and show them different things they could do and talk about product. And a lot of times on Saturdays we would do little make and take demos and inevitably every time I pulled product to use I had tons of green so she teased me one day and she said okay you're on green restriction no more green for a while and I did have to kind of get out of my comfort zone because I really did like that green so there's our pocket which will hold other photos, you could make little journaling cards. I don't really have one made, but have some little blank pages. And you could put photos on them. So there's lots of things that can be housed in that pocket. Then this opens this way. And then, of course, this is the center, since we're only doing the little single signature here. And one side will be... This kind of, and I did do this one so that I, I cut the paper so that just when you looked at it, you had a little run there. But to glue this down and have a little more flat surface, I'm going to open that page up. And put the glue everywhere it was needed and then like I said I just kind of eyeball it I pretty much know what I'm going to have left around each page side okay. and I'm going to just press against both of those I don't want to rub right on my pattern paper and take a chance of snagging an edge and so there's the center of the book then I don't know still how I want to do the I, don't know, I think I still like the offset idea so that if you did want to still put a photo, you could still get the photo glued onto the background, but yet still have room for a, a fold over type thing to, to be looped through that. So that's what we'll do anyway. really down there good and secure. This is a bazeal, but it also has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So you have to be a little more careful working with these card stocks that have any kind of texture or shimmer to them. And make sure that glue gets a good bond. Now once it's bonded and it's there, you don't have to worry about it. But... 
You want to make sure you use a good glue and definitely not double-sided tape on those. Unless possibly, and I don't know because I used to use that red liner tape because that was our go-to extra strong tape back in the day. And I have projects out there that had red liner used on them and they just pop apart whenever I handle them. So... But the wet glue stuff is good and secure. Oh, I just absolutely love that. Then I'll go back and I'll probably add some sort of die cut word maybe for each page. I don't know. I'll figure out something that I might want to put there. But I've got to finish putting the pockets together for the other, for the back section. So I'll do that and come back and we should be able to finish it up. Thanks, y'all.